Hi friends, it's Leilani. Welcome back to my channel. So today it's time for another vlog video. Super excited. I love these so much. So first off, I'm just going to kind of take you around today. I'm going to run a few fun errands and grab a few things and then head back home and hopefully have enough time to work on a couple scrappy things. I want to show you some new stuff in the craft room, show you some things that I've been working on. But first, I thought it would be fun to just take you along with me. We're going to go to Starbucks and then run a couple more errands. So we'll say errands, but it's mostly for fun. So it's Saturday and I just want to kind of hang out with myself. Will's actually not feeling good. I think he got food poisoning or some kind of like stomach bug. So he's in bed, which is really sad. And he's thrown up and not felt good today at all. So I'm just letting him kind of chill with the doggies. And I thought I would get out for a little bit and just kind of enjoy the day. So come along with me. y'all I'm back home now it's actually much later than I intended it's about 4 30 or a little after which normally I'm not like starting projects this late but today has been an interesting kind of day because Will woke up not feeling good so I've got him all tucked in so I thought that I would come in here for just a little bit and kind of mess around with my project that I'm trying to work on so I went to Joann's and basically I wanted to get um, some pom-pom trim and other fun trim if I could find any because I want to make a few more of my like little altered book junk journal kind of things. So I got this um, kind of pom-pom trim which I thought would be really fun. It's quite big. thought it would make a cute little statement on the side of the notebooks and then I also got some of the pre-packaged ones in a few different colors. So I got a couple of that mint. And then of course I had to get a couple pinks. And I also got this little lace, just kind of like white lace, which I thought might be nice. So I got all of those. And then I grabbed a couple adhesives that I hope will help me get it onto the books nicely. Besides that, the only other thing I got was this Park Lane brand mood booster um, is the uh, collection name and it is cardstock. And let me try to like pop it open so I can show you. So it's right up my alley with like the kind of 90s nostalgia kind of vibes, but it's a little muted tones, but I couldn't pass it up. Plus it was on sale. So I ended up grabbing two <laughs> of the paper pads. They are six by eight, I do believe. But like, look, they have little yin yangs. And I love the black. And then these are actually like raised and they're shiny. So those are kind of cool. And a lot of it is double-sided. We have the smiley faces and these little people, which I thought were cute. So there's a lot of really fun patterns in here. So, I mean, I had to grab it. So I haven't heard of it or seen anything about it. These are the kind of shiny ones again. But yeah, I just thought it was so cute. So 
I went ahead and grabbed two of those. So no real reason except just to have it in my collection because I couldn't pass it up. So basically what I'd love to start on today is I want to take some of these little books that I've been collecting from um, like thrift stores and I want to make them into a junk journal. So over on Patreon uh, a couple months ago, I can't remember when, sometime over the summer, we did just this um, for a like summer themed junk journal. I took a book, maybe a little bit bigger than this, and I used my cinch and I created a junk journal. So I would like to make a few more today. I have these four and actually um, for a little Patreon plug, sorry, gotta do it. But next month, October, my favorite month of the year is my one year on Patreon. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna do some fun Patreon giveaways. And one thing that I'm going to do for my patrons is uh, during our Zoom, every month we have a crafty Zoom, and that's if you sign up at any level, the five, the eight, or the $12 tier. Basically, the only thing that changes within those tiers are the amount of videos that you get, but you get all the other perks no matter what uh, level you sign up at. So at the $5 tier, you can join in on the crafty Zooms, and they're really fun. We just have icebreaker questions. They're really low key. We just kind of chat and scrapbook. But uh, for the one year, I wanted to do some giveaways during the Zoom. So my plan is, is to try to make all of these into pretty small um, altered notebook kind of junk journals and give these away during my Zoom. So I thought it would be fun to pop on here today during my vlog and kind of have y'all um, go with me throughout making these journals. So they're gonna be pretty simple. I'm not that advanced, but I have a large stack here, mostly of the Heidi Swap um, Color Fresh collection. It's one of my favorite collections, y'all know, and I have a lot of it. So I'm going to cut this paper to size. And then I have, I want to try to use these really small, um, binding rings. Now I have some a little bit bigger. These may just be too small, but I didn't want to make these really thick. I want them to be really like little books because I'm going to have to make four of them and I have a lot of other projects I'm working on. So this has got to be kind of an easy thing for me to do. Um, so we're going to see if those are too small. I do have some a little bit bigger, but I'd love to use those and we're going to try to put these together. So I'm going to kind of just take you along and let's see what we can do today with working on these junk journals. Okay, I had to pop on really quick because I got the first one finished, at least with all the binding. So I did up the rings a little bit. These are like the five by eight size rings, but it's it's kind of small. It's not very thick of a book, but I think that it's really cute. So basically I just have the, um, the children's book and then you open it up and then kind of mixed in, I put some doilies. Now those are mega delicate. And then I just have some pieces of paper, they're different sizes, and mixed in with the book pages, just for like a fun little journal. So now I'm gonna add some of the fun pom-pom trims and everything, and then this one will be finished. 
Okay, so as you can probably tell, it is a different day. It's actually a couple days later, but I did finish all of these books the same day that I was chatting with you guys. I'm so happy to have these done. I think they're so cute. They're pretty simple, but I really think that they're adorable and they'll be super fun to just like add little bits to, make them into junk journals, make them into little notebooks. You could write things, you could do whatever you want. So I love making these. I'm definitely gonna be on the lookout for more of them whenever I'm at the thrift store because this size in particular, perfect. Perfect for the cinch, super easy to put together, super quick to put together, um, and I really love them. Okay, and then I just wanted to give a little sneak peek into my travel album that we've been working on over on Patreon. Now this is going to be difficult to show you here because it is a little bit bigger. It's the six by eight album from Citrus Twist, but um, just to give you a little bit of a sneak peek. So it's filled with large photos. We have the smaller pockets. We have postcards. I also have um, lots of just mixing and and matching. We have a ton of ephemera in here from the trip. Here's all the fuzzy stickers. There's Disney photos in here. There's so much good stuff and I've had such a blast working on it. You'll see she's gotten pretty chunky. Um, I just finished the part where we went to Palm Springs. I finished that earlier today and that's going to go up for my Patreon tomorrow. But of course, after the end of the month, when all of the Patreon process videos are up, I will share a full flip through over here with all of the details and everything, but that's what I've been working on. So that's been one of my favorite projects that I've worked on in a while. But yeah, besides that project, another thing that I've been really excited about and it's been really awesome getting it all completed is my cube wall in my craft room. So that was kind of a dream idea that I wasn't sure that it was going to be able to happen, but we did get a little bit of work on our house recently and we were able to make a little bit of extra room into the craft room and create a complete wall of cubes. So they're really cool. They're the 13 by 13 cubes, so they can hold 12 by 12 albums, but they can also hold all kinds of other stuff. So I did want to give you a little peek at those. My craft room is mostly the same, but it makes a huge impact and there's tons of storage and gave me a lot more room in here. So I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so this is my cube wall. I'm so excited about it. Now, I'm not going to explain everything that's in all of the cubes, um, but I'm really, really thrilled. Of course, this is kind of like the first version of these um, cubes. Who knows where they're going to go, what all I'll be able to store. I know that it'll grow with me a lot as I you know, get more things and get more albums and all that kind of good stuff. But right now I'm just so excited. So this is, this is what we've got for now. And I love them. Besides the cubes though, um, my craft room mostly still looks the same. So just for a quick overview, when you walk in, here is my desk. Um, I was able to change a couple things. So now I have a little bit more space to put my Rascog cart right beside my desk if I want to, which I love. And then let me pan around. So I have my cute little wall here. All of that is the same. Hello. And then of course I have my studio lights, which are a little uh, unattractive, but they are a necessity. And then the shelf right in front of my desk, that's where I have all of my completed albums. So there's a little bit of extra room over there, but that's where I keep those right now. So I really, really love that as well. And then I'm going to show you my new 90s nostalgia shelves. These are my nostalgia shelves. So if you remember, um, these shelves used 
to be over here where the cube wall is um, on top of some of the other cubes. So now I was able to move them over here. They go pretty far up because before I had two longer shelves and now I have four smaller ones. I love these shelves. They're filled with stuff from my actual childhood, um, some stuff that I've bought over time, some vintage books, vintage trolls. Those are my actual Polly Pockets. So many little trinkets and things that I have collected. So I'm really proud of them. It's hard to show you these ones that get up to high, but yeah, these are my pride and joy. So I had to show them off really quick. So besides all of that, I just wanted to chit chat with you for a minute and check in. So I've been loving doing these vlog style videos over here a little bit more. I just think it's really fun to come on and be face to face with you and just to kind of like show what's going on in my craft room and what I'm up to. So that was really fun. I'm so glad that I got that project marked off. I have a lot of them that I'm trying to work on. Um, but yeah, besides the travel album flip through, you can also expect um, a lot of other fun things coming up here throughout the holiday season. So over here, of course, I'll still be doing Project Life. I have some plans to complete my media journal, to work on the recipe book more. I did like the baking kind of recipes last time. So I wanna get together with Will and get a couple of the recipes for the food that he makes all the time, kind of like the staples around here. So I think that, that will be really fun. And besides that, of course, I'll be working on some spooky layouts and things like that for um, Halloween. Not sure if I have any other projects over here, but October Daily will be over on my Patreon if you're interested. Um, but yeah, so December Daily will be over there as well, but we will have Deconstructing December again this year. I have a lot of really fun products that I'm going to be working with, which I'm very excited about for all of the uh, Christmas crafting, which is some of my very, very favorites. So I just want to give a big thank you to all of you who have subscribed to like and comment on my videos. It means so much to me and it's just a really special community over here and I appreciate all of you so very much and I'm so thankful. It just means the world. So I want you all to know that. And um, let me know down below if there's anything specific that you would want to see from me, any kind of special projects or anything like that. I always love um, suggestions. Um, I'm always looking for new things to try, new projects to work on. So I would love to hear from you. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And of course, I will be back soon super soon with another process for you. So have an absolutely wonderful day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye y'all.